let's get our makeup off today i'm going to be using the cleansing balm which is going to really help to break down my makeup obviously i have really dry skin at the minute so this is going to help with moisturizing my skin afterwards but if you do have oily skin then i would recommend you using a foam cleanser because foam cleansers strip your skin so it will remove all the excess oils out of your face but for dry skin gals like me we are going to be using an oil based cleanser as you can see i've just taken off that cleansing bar and now it's time for an eye serum this is the l'oreal revitalift hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid is ideal for people with dry skin as it really helps to absorb water from your other skincare products and now for the serum version and then for deep hydration i'm gonna apply the polyglytamic acid polyglytamic actually holds all the moisture in your face so this is going to help for deep hydration ayo everyday makeup check Show your favorite concealer, favorite foundation, favorite bronzer, favorite mascara, favorite eyeliner, favorite blush, and favorite highlighter. You guys are literally going to kill me, but I do not know what these lashes are. And everyone's been going crazy for them, asking which ones are these, and I'm like, I don't know, because I've literally stuck two pairs on top of each other, because they look amazing together. They literally have the right amount of volume, they are, you know, wispy on the outer ends. By the way guys, I'm doing like a little get ready with me, I literally have 50 minutes, and I probably should not be talking right now, but I really wanted to just jump on. I was going to go live, and then I was like, I definitely do not have time to be going live. By the way, this is the Good Apple Foundation from KVD and it is the best possible foundation for dry skin because it's like a little bit more oily but it doesn't like go oily throughout the day especially when you have dry skin, it's like the most ideal foundation you could ever get Can you see how it literally just does not separate on my skin? By the way, I made a massive mistake and I mixed a water primer with an oily foundation and everyone in the comments was like no you can't mix the two and my under eyes were like cracking and i think it was partly because my skin that day was extremely bad because i've done that before and it's never really affected my skin but this one time it looked cracked and it was not a combo but at the same time it's worked in the past i wasn't actually lying it did actually go really nicely but this one day i was super dry when i tell you you need the clinique chubby stick and also this angled brush i think this brush is from b dot I don't know, it's, it's in like super drug stores, if you can like see that brand and sign. Um, it's the flat contour brush and it is the most perfect brush to do your contour with. Anyways, that is not my point, but the clean Chubby Stick is amazing because it doesn't add a lot of colour to your skin, as you can see, but it's the perfect base for all your other products and I swear by it. I literally haven't used this bronzer in the longest time, but it's actually so nice. It's the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Golden Girl. But I think it looks really pretty. It's got like little specks of like not glitter, but like a bit of a shimmer in it. But it's not too noticeable. But I think when a product has that in it, it's only going to make you look healthier. So I actually really like it. Can you see how it's giving me like a nice little glow? I'm going to start using this again. Do you know what? Sometimes I actually do really like being put in a rush because it makes me just pick up the first piece of like makeup that I find to which I end up using like different make ugh, makeup products to usual uh, because otherwise I stick to the same ones because I'm like oh that's my favourite oh I'll just try and find it quickly whereas like now I'm having to grab anything by the way this is one of my favourite products it's from Iconic London <laughs> what is going on with my voice? it's from Iconic London and it's in the shade um far oh, that's not the shade <laughs> it's in the shade power pink i don't know why i got that word from um but look it adds a natural glow while adding blusher i'm upset i'm actually running out of time i literally have half an hour and i need to do my hair so i'm gonna try and speed forward i haven't told you where i'm going but i'm going shopping <laughs> okay guys so this is the finished result and let's go shopping you guys are literally going to kill me, but I do not know what these lashes are. And everyone's been going crazy for them, asking which ones are these. And I'm like, I don't know, because I've literally stuck two pairs on top of each other, because they look amazing together. They literally have the right amount of volume. They are, you know, wispy on the outer ends. By the way, guys, I'm doing like a little get ready with me. I literally have 50 minutes, and I probably should not be talking right now, but I really wanted to just jump on. I was going to go live, and then I was like, I definitely do not have time to be going live. By the way, this is the Good Apple Foundation from KVD and it is the best possible foundation for dry skin because it's like a little bit more oily but it doesn't like go oily throughout the day especially when you have dry skin, it's like the most ideal foundation you could ever get 
can you see how it literally just does not separate on my skin by the way i made a massive mistake and i mixed a water primer with an oily foundation and everyone in the comments was like no you can't mix the two and my under eyes were like cracking and i think it was partly because my skin that day was extremely bad because i've done that before and it's never really affected my skin but this one time it looked cracked and it was not a combo but at the same time it's worked in the past i wasn't actually lying it did actually go really nicely but this one day i was super dry when i tell you you need the clinique chubby stick and also this angled brush i think this brush is from b dot i don't know it's it's in like super drug stores if you can like see that brand and sign um it's the flat contour brush and it is the most perfect brush to do your contour with anyways that is not my point but the clean chubby stick is amazing because it doesn't add a lot of color to your skin as you can see but it's the perfect base for all your other products and i swear by it i literally haven't used this bronzer in the longest time but it's actually so nice it's the bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer in the shade golden girl but I think it looks really pretty. It's got like little specks of like not glitter, but like a bit of a shimmer in it. But it's not too noticeable. But I think when a product has that in it, it's only going to make you look healthier. So I actually really like it. Can you see how it's giving me like a nice little glow? I'm going to start using this again. Do you know what? Sometimes I actually do really like being put in a rush because it makes me just pick up the first piece of like makeup that I find to which I end up using like different make ugh, makeup products to usual uh, because otherwise I stick to the same ones because I'm like, oh, that's my favorite. Oh, I'll just try and find it quickly. Whereas like now I'm having to grab anything. By the way, this is one of my favorite products. It's from Iconic London. <laughs> what is going on with my voice? It's from Iconic London and it's in the shade... Um, far oh, that's not the shade <laughs> it's in the shade power pink i don't know why i got that word from um but look it adds a natural glow while adding blusher i'm upset i'm actually running out of time i literally have half an hour and i need to do my hair so i'm gonna try and speed forward i haven't told you where i'm going but i'm going shopping <laughs> okay guys so this is the finished result and let's go shopping if this happens to you, do not open the door. Once there was a girl named Donna who lived with her father, but he went out of town for a business trip, so Donna was left alone in the house. Then one night, she heard the doorbell ring. She went downstairs and was about to open the door, assuming it was her father, but she stopped. Something wasn't right. She looked through the people and saw her father staring back at her. His eyes were wide open and he looked terrified, but the doorbell kept ringing. Donna said, Dad, did you forget your keys? No answer. Dad, say something. Still no answer. Donna said, I'm not opening the door until you say something. Eventually, the ringing stopped and Donna fell asleep. Sleep. The next morning, she looked through the people again. Her father was still there as if he hadn't moved all night. She finally opened the door and what she saw horrified her. Her father's head was hanging from above the door and there was a note attached to the doorbell with only two words, clever girl. So beautiful day, oh beautiful day.
This is why you should always sleep with your lights on. In 1991, a man named Christopher Case was found dead in his bathtub, fully clothed in the fetal position. When police interviewed his best friend, Sammy, she told them about a very disturbing phone call she got from him the night before he died. On the call, he told her that the previous night, he had woken up to what sounded like whispering coming from underneath his bed. When he went to look, he couldn't move. As he laid helplessly, he watched a black figure pull itself out from underneath his bed. Once it was fully upright, it reached down and began choking him until he passed out. The next morning when he came to, he felt his neck and it was swollen and bruised. And then he saw blood on his hands and he saw that there were deep, uniform incisions on each of his fingertips. As he's saying all this to Sammy and telling her how scared he is to go to bed that night, he suddenly stops and he says, I hear whispering outside my room. Then the phone went dead. Something really talk. One time when my boyfriend was sleeping, um, his phone went off and it was from a Morgan. And I know all of his exes and friends and like I've never heard of a Morgan before. So I went through the messages and they were talking about how much they miss each other. And I was like, weird. So I got on his Facebook and typed her name in his friends list. And there she was. And I went on her Facebook. It was really, really private. And I could only see like three or four profile pictures. And there was a guy in one of them and he was tagged. So I went to his Facebook and I saw that they were engaged. And I was like, hmm, weird. So I had screenshotted all the messages and then sent them to my phone and then deleted them out of his pictures and his phone so he didn't know that I had them. And I reached out to Morgan, I tried to call her on Facebook and then was immediately blocked. And then I went to the fiance's Facebook and I was immediately blocked. So I said, that's kind of fishy. So I got on my second Facebook and I typed in the fiance's name and I went through his friends list and sent screenshots of the messages to all of the people with his same last name. And it turns out it was the night before their wedding and it was a rehearsal dinner night and I ruined the wedding. So sorry about that, Morgan. Again, don't text my boyfriend.